Hey guys, it's Nora from UK Mobile Review. We've already unboxed the iPhone 5C for you, and now we're going to give you a quick guide on how to set it up and get past the iOS 7 start screen. In the packaging, you'll find this, which we touched on in the iPhone 5C unboxing. Here is your SIM card removal tool. Lift it up like so, and off it pops. We've now got the iPhone 5C, the SIM card removal tool, and now we need our SIM card. Just like the iPhone 5 and the iPhone 5S, the iPhone 5C uses a nano SIM. On the right of the iPhone 5C, you'll see the SIM card pin slot. Pop the tool in like so, press down, and out pops the tray. You'll notice that the SIM card goes in like so, with a little cut edge in the top right. And now you push it back in like that. That's it. You've now changed your SIM card and put the SIM card in. Now that the SIM card's in, we're ready to start. So from the startup screen, slide to the right. Select your language. In our case, it's English and your country. We're based in the UK, so we're going to select the United Kingdom. But you can select any country you want. What we do recommend is you select a country that your Apple ID is going to be tied to. So you now have two choices. You can either choose a Wi-Fi network to set up your phone and activate it. Or because we've already put a SIM card in, we can just select Use Cellular Connection. That's if your SIM card's active. If it's not, you need to select a Wi-Fi network, like so, enter the password, click join, and it will then activate. We're going to choose Use Cellular Connection. Once you've selected Use Cellular Connection or Wi-Fi, it will then activate the phone by making sure that the right SIM card is put in the right phone. And you're, if you're using a phone from a net uh, that you bought from your network, this is probably the stage it's going to lock itself to that network, and you'll need to con contact your network to get your iPhone unlocked for use with other networks. The next step is to enable location services. We would recommend you do enable them. However, you do need to also be wary that any app can then use location services. And in another video, we're going to show you how to specify which apps can use your location. If you choose not to enable location services, you'll find you can't use any mapping solutions, amongst a lot of other stuff. Now you're left with three options. To set up as new iPhone, restore from iCloud backup, or restore from iTunes backup. If you've had an iPhone before, you have two options, to either restore from iTunes or restore from iCloud. We would recommend you use iCloud, because it's wireless, you don't need to plug it into a computer, and it pretty much does everything for you. However, if you've backed up to iTunes, you can select restore from iTunes backup, and it then asks you to connect to iTunes. We're going to show you how to set it up as a new iPhone, because you may not want to bring, all your, bring everything over from your old one, or you may have never had an iPhone before. Select set up as new iPhone. It'll now ask you to sign in with your Apple ID, create a free Apple ID, or skip this step. Now you'll need to select an Apple ID to be able to download any applications. So you have your choice of creating a free one, which then asks you for all your security details, signing in with an existing one, where it allows you to enter your Apple ID and password, or skipping this step. The Apple ID means that if you've ever downloaded an application on, in, on your iPad, your iPhone, even your iPod Touch, or you've bought something from Apple Store be online before, which could be an iPod Classic, an iPod Shuffle, it may be even an accessory, or you've used downloaded music from iTunes on your computer, odds are you'll have an Apple ID. So we'd recommend you sign in with it now, just so you can actually get your purchases back, specifically for applications. We're going to skip this step for now, and it warns us, would you like to skip it? Yep, we'll skip, because when they first go to download an application, it will then ask you to enter your Apple ID anyway. Next part is the terms and conditions. You could read through this. We would recommend you do at some point. However, it's going to take a very long time to read through. And we don't really think you want to sit here reading through 
lots of lines of text with us. So we'll just agree to it for now. Now it asks you to create a four digit passcode. And it also gives you the option not to add a passcode. Now we'd probably recommend you do have a passcode because if you don't have one, anyone can pick up your phone, unlock it and use it to do whatever they want. In this case, we'll just add something really simple, zero, 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 zero. Except Apple says, would you like to use this code? Because it's commonly used and can be easily guessed. Okay, maybe we don't. Let's change it. How about 0909? Again, it's a commonly used code. Let's change it again. How about 1234? Really simple. And the gist of it is, don't create a passcode that's easy to guess. So we're going to enter one. And now it asks you to re-enter it. Once you've done that, it asks you, would you like to use Siri? Now, Siri is your voice command personal assistant. It can do everything from check your reservations, make you a new reservation for dinner, especially if you've just forgotten someone's birthday and you need to take them out at short notice. It can check your latest sports scores for you. It does a lot, and we'd probably recommend you use Siri. Last step, diagnostics. Would you like to send them or don't send them? Now, you never actually know what's being sent to Apple, which it can include location data. So we always suggest click don't send. That way you have full control. Welcome to iPhone. Click tap on get started. And we're here in the iOS 7 home screen. And as you can see, the background matches the background of the iPhone 5C. This was just a very quick guide on how to set up your new iPhone 5C. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. Don't forget to check out our unboxing and all the other videos on our YouTube channel. And please share this video. Until next time.